Okay, here we have y prime times y double prime is equal to y triple prime. Wow, I didn't know that we can just add the primes like that. 1 prime to 1 plus 2 primes is equal to 3 primes? Are we sure? Well, I don't know. Let's verify it. Here is the first y. y is equal to e to the x squared. Is this the solution or not? Well, right here we will have to differentiate this y 3 times and plug in and see what happens. Let's just go ahead and do the work. Here we go. y prime is just the first derivative, so e to the whatever repeats, so we have e to the x squared. But don't forget the Chengdu, so we multiply by the derivative of this, which is 2x, so that's what we have. And perhaps I'll write it as 2x e to the x squared, like that. Alright, good. Now, y double prime. Here we will actually have to use the product rule, because we have 2x times e to the x squared. So I'm going to keep the first function, and then we multiply by the derivative of the second. So that's e to the x squared, but again, the Chengdu, so multiply by 2x right here again, right? <laughs> and then add the second function, which is e to the x squared times the derivative of the first, which is just a 2. Cool. Now we see that this is just 4x squared, and then we have e to the x squared, and then we have plus 2ex squared, like so. All right, so far so good. Now, yes, to the derivative one more time. So here, we will have to use the product rule. I'm going to keep the first function, so we have 4x squared, and then we multiply by the derivative of the second, which will give us e to the x squared times the derivative of that, which is 2x. But we will have to add the second function, which is e to the x squared times the derivative of the first, which is 8x to the first power. And then right here, don't forget we still have this guy, we have to add this is just 2 times whatever, right? It's a constant multiple, so you don't need the product rule. Just put on a 2, and then differentiate e to the x squared, which is e to the x squared, times the derivative of that, which is 2x, like so. Alright, so on, oh, what do we have? Oh my god, this is 8x cubed, yeah? And then we have e to the x squared, plus this right here is 8x, right? This is 8x. But then we have what? 4x. So combine them together is 12x. So this is 12x. And both of them have the e to the x squared term. So that's what we have. Pretty good, right? Now we're just going to see if the derivatives worked out OK or not. So on the left hand side, let me just put down the first derivative, which is this. Here is the check now. It's not heck, right? I'm sorry. Check. <laughs> All right. So uh, the check is here. We have the two x. All right. The first derivative two x e to the x squared, and we multiply by the second derivative, which is all that. So I'm just going to multiply four x squared e to the x squared plus two e to the x squared like so, and I'm just going to multiply it out, and uh, I don't know if this is the same as that or not. Maybe it is. I have no idea though. It's not. Anyway, 2x times 4x uh, to the second power, this is 8x cubed. So far, so good. However, when we do this times that, right? Remember, we take this times that. This right here, they have the same base e. So we keep the same base, but x squared, we will have to add it with x squared. We add the same power, right? We add the powers. When the base are the same, we add the powers. So x squared plus x squared, we actually have a 2x squared. All right? And well, let's practice this again. Take this times that. 2 times 2 is the 4, and then we have the x, and then this times that is e to the 2x squared. So of course, this is not the same as that. So this is now. That, that's not a solution to the differential equation. Hmm, so maybe this is just too crazy that it actually does not have a solution. Well, have a look for part B. Here we go. Again, differentiate this three times. For the first one, y prime will just be negative 2, and the derivative of this is just 1 over the inside, which is x plus 1. And let me write it as negative 2 times x plus 1 to the negative 1 power. And remember, the Chengdu, but the derivative of 
x plus 1 is just 1, so if you forgot about it, you are still fine. Anyway though, here we go, y double prime, this is going to be, bring this to the front, and then minus 1, we get positive 2, and then x plus 1, and uh, negative 2. And again, Chengdu is just multiplied by 1, so doesn't matter. Now, do it again, here we have y prime prime prime. Here we go, bring this to the front, so we have negative 4, and then x plus 1, and don't forget the minus 1, so it's actually to the negative third power. Multiply by the derivative inside, it's just 1. So that is what we have. Now, our first derivative, this guy, so let me write that down. Here is the check. First derivative, let's write down, negative 2 times x plus 1, to the negative 1 power, and we will multiply by the second derivative, which is this, 2 times x plus 1 to the negative 2 power, like that. And let's just multiply to see if this is equal to the third derivative or not. But you see, negative 2 times negative 2, that's nicely equal to negative 4. And this and that, they have the same base, so we can just put them together, and lastly, Right? We'll put the base together. Don't forget to add the exponents. Negative 1 plus negative 2. We actually end up with negative 3. This right here is exactly our third derivative. So this one here checks out perfectly. So this is yes. So what do you think about this rule? This differential equation. Yes, for this one, it's again. Is sometimes true. But not all the time though, because you see, that's not the case, and well, we have a case right here. And in fact, if you want to find out more solutions, one pair is, of course, well, one, one way to do it is just you use the constant solution, constant function again, right? But that's not so interesting. Anyway though, if you want to see how to solve this from scratch, again, you can check out another video, link will be in the description for you guys, if you're, on the, if you're up for the challenge. So, that's it for this. Eh?